I've done all that work making the rammed earth forms, but now I need a project to use them with. I don't want to start off by doing anything uh, too critical since I have very little experience with rammed earth. So I'm going to start off by making a wind wall to protect my, my garden here. By the way, it was pretty much destroyed in a hailstorm last night, but uh, maybe it'll recover. Anyway, so I'm going to dig an L-shaped trench along this uh, corner here and level it out and set up the form so that I can give the uh, give Ram Dirt a try. Not bad for two hours work. I might have to come back and tune that up a little bit more tomorrow, but I should be able to set the forms in place. some 18 inch spacer blocks to help me keep the forms evenly separated. Those blocks will come out prior to filling. Check your forms for plumb and level. Removable battens act to brace the all thread against the forms. Now that all the forms are in and everything is plumb, level, and square, I'm ready to start putting in the foundation for my rammed earth wall. I've set up two soil test samples here. On the left is my sand deposit, and on the right is my typical subsoil in this area. I'll let these settle out, and come back and check them in a little while, see what my uh, distributions are. My two soil samples have been settling out for several hours. On the left is the sand from my sand pit, and you can see a very thin layer at the top of some clay, maybe less than 5%. On the right is my subsoil sample, and you can see there's a much higher percentage of fines at the top of that um, sample. Next, I need to see if those fines are clay or silt, so I'm going to decant off the bottle and uh, test that fi those fines for plasticity. That looks like a clay to me. I've been debating whether to use rammed earth or stabilized rammed earth on this project. The advantage of stabilized rammed earth is it's more stable. The disadvantage is it's a lot more work and it costs quite a bit more because I have to buy cement and mix the cement with the earth. After the, the soil test results I just finished up, it looks like I have about an ideal clay to sand mix in this location. So I'm just going to go ahead and build this with ram dirt. There's two reasons for that. One, I'm not building anything on top of this project. This is just going to be a wall. It's not going to be holding up a roof or there's not, and there's not going to be people sleeping next to it or anything like that. Uh, so this will keep the cost down and the labor to a minimum.
forms have been filled up and rammed. And uh, for the most part, it went okay. At the beginning, I think I was putting in too much material and the material was too dry. Towards the end, I think I got the idea a little bit better. Now all I need to do is take off the forms and see how it looks. But uh, I think I'm going to take a rest and maybe do that in the afternoon since those things are heavy. I have pulled most of the bolts. Finally ready to start pulling the forms off. Let's see how it looks. Hey, it looks pretty good. Well, I'll continue taking the rest of the forms off and hopefully everything else will come out just as nice. I wouldn't describe it as perfect, but it's pretty good for a first try. I've got a little bit of cracking on the corners, which is to be expected. I damaged this corner over here myself. But overall, it came out all right. It's nice to see that the wall didn't collapse overnight. Looks pretty good. Anyway, now it's time to put up the second set. I need to decide whether I'm going vertically or going horizontally. And I've decided to go horizontally for a couple of reasons. One is I want to backfill the uh, gap here for the forms all the way around this so that I can, I can set the forms on top um, when I set up the second set over here. And I can't do that effectively if this area is open. Um, and second, maybe I'll give this a little bit more time to set. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but uh, that's the way I'll do it. Now I've got another 16 feet of trench to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up another pair of forms and uh, finish out this wall. The second set is installed, all leveled up and ready to go. I guess it's time to start filling again. That's a bit of work. That should finish off the second set. Um, it takes me about seven hours to fill and tamp one of these things. Maybe an hour or two to set them up. It's uh, not such a bad way to make a wall that lasts a thousand years. Next step, you gotta take off the forms. See how it looks. second wall came out pretty well. I'm happy with it, except for I damaged the uh, side here with the form. Um, I'm moving it around before it's finished setting, and uh, the forms are just a bit too heavy for me to be moving by myself, so it uh, makes it easy to damage things. ahead and backfilled the gap between the wall and the dirt. Um, one to stabilize the wall a little bit but more because it's a safety hazard. You put a leg down there especially while you're carrying something you end up with a broken ankle. I also put uh, some scrap 
OSB board on top of the, the wall. This uh, allows me to run the wheelbarrow up and down the top of it. It's still fresh, so I don't want to crack the wall any 